In preparation for the first winter camping, looking to do a Froley system install for the bed to avoid moisture. There's a full front opening on this, but only those little crevices would add the airflow needed. So hoping that this will protect our camper. So here's the box that it comes in. Springy Froley system. Take some parts out, get the box up top. I saw some people doing that from the box on the bed area. Might be easiest. Oh, they are not much room to get these pieces out. Yeah. Need to open these parts. That is spacer, box padding, tool to pop the little pieces together. Sure. Insulation tool. Squeezes the little clips together. Let's see. Let's see. So the frame. I saw on people's videos are these little dudes and the little alignment of the arrows are supposed to go the same way and I think the tighter you go the more stiff but that's what they said probably should read some instructions real quick so believe it or not, I'm actually looking to go drive probably about four hours to Steamboat tonight. It is three o'clock. See if I can camp at the KOA. But this is a little daunting as far as how many pieces. The couple I watched made it look quite interesting, or not interesting, but pretty simple and quick. These are your base, these are your springs which go there eventually. And then if you have some pressure points that you poke in a little bit, you can add some firming springs. So they did say that the triangles go the same direction. They're pointed the same direction, the tip of the triangle. The tighter, the firmer, they usually use medium, and this is a softer feel spanned out more. And they have an estimate pattern of different things that makes my head hurt a little bit. First step they say I think we'll go with medium is to lay them out on the bed to the approximate width which out, without snapping them together. And so triangles in the same direction. So roughly like that, laying them out for estimation. They also talk about soft areas being the light blue. How do you know where to put those stinkers? Shoulder area is the light blue. All right, put those suckers up there. Here, maybe. Get her done. Maybe they mean that each row gets laid out, not the entire thing. That would save on the knees a bit. Let's try to get it as close to the wall as possible, I guess. Now. And triangles pointed that way. Yeah, I don't know, this might go all right. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Medium, 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 medium. Firmness holes. Triangle. See how many we can get in here. Want as much airflow as possible. Yeah, one more right there. I think I can do that. Oh, that won't clip in, but that'll fit. And once you size it up, I think a row can be popped together. So again, triangles pointing the same way, medium, and I think you just pop them like so. That would not be easy. Don't use a hammer, they said. You smash your little plastic knobbies, I'm sure. And if you had to take it apart, I don't know. I hope to not do that. 
This wasn't really part of the instructions, but I'm running with it. I'm going to see how far I want it up the curve or not. I don't think I want it up the curve. Oh, same thing, triangles. This way, this way, I think. Leave it loose for initial measure. Triangle, this way. Middle section for medium firm. I think this will be pretty sweet. I hope we can get parts lined up nicely. Otherwise, they said you could cut part of the base down if you wanted to use the spring at the edge of something. So here, I might just be able to push it back up there a hair. And that looks like a nice platform layout. Oop. Might be more than that. Take that back. Oui. Yep, yep, yep. Take I shove the whole thing back, I guess, here in a little bit and see. Okay, so the estimated layout is there roughly. Let's put them together and see. Well, I better check the arrows, right? I have no idea how to get this part, so that way, that way. Yep. So once you get a row of triangles aligned, your two snap tabs will be closest to where you're going. Once you get one aligned, so the arrows don't seem super important. Once that's all aligned, okay. Yeah, I might cut some off depending, but I bet it won't be a problem because the springs will sit here-ish and not curve up the wall to cause problems with the pillow, hopefully. Oh. Man, that was pretty cool actually. Put a bed together. And this time I laid out the triangles so that it would be easier to remember. Just double check them again eventually. All pointed this way with that row that I started. Hopefully put these together really fast. Well, kind of. And I guess my measurements are done, so realistically, uh, I think I'm gonna lay them and pop them afterward. It's probably faster. Manufacturing style. <laughs> that will probably do. Yeah, I like that method. Yep, 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 yep. And just check them. They're all, yep. Should be interesting. I imagine you could cut two sides of these things too if you had to. And yep, yep, yep. Looking good. Liking it. Once they got to the middle, they poke up a lot more. Harder to get in a pattern of snapping them in. So easily. I'm gonna have to line that right too to check the measurements later. Kinda squirt all over the place. Oh, that one is in the way of the box. Don't forget triangles. Me. Mm, good. <clears throat> it's pretty sweet design. Seems pretty durable too. It's a little bit of a workout crawling around. So the question is whether my legs are gonna be sore if I actually get up to ski tomorrow. We'll see. Make sure I didn't miss any weird ones. You can 
solid. Woohoo! Now getting the springs on without smashing my knees will be fun. Maybe I'll just be squatting on my feet. Yeah, she's looking pretty. Oh, missed one. Quality check. I honestly think the faster I get done, the better. This little squatty move is kind of tiring. You gotta be a little flexible to do this if you have a crouchy space. All right, solid dough. Do this. Okay. Right. Quality check. Looking pretty good. All right. Getting a little quirky now. Surprisingly, trying to work around the pieces isn't as bad as I expected. Not for sure they would be poking me when I sit down a little bit or whatever. Remember to check arrows. Oh no, that's a big problem. Pliers. All right, let's read that part of the instructions. Oh. Uh, I'm guessing pliers. See, now I got it too long because I put it on the outside instead of the middle. Okay, here goes nothing. Otherwise, I think I will have extra. <sighs> ah ha! Yep. Needle nose worked well. Standard might kind of chewed it up a little bit, but I think it's still going to work. Let's see if it pops. Yeah, in business. Good stuff, Maynard. Sweet. There's a really good way you can use those arrows right here pointing that way, but the tabs are also gonna line up these two sides and all in the same direction. So if you see a tab, you're good. Just don't pop it unless you don't see two. I think would be the key. Kind of weird curve here. I don't know why they have a fuzz and a carpet. I don't even know if I need that one, but family over there, maybe. So, I'm not paying much attention right now, I guess. I think this is the last row. I think two people would be handy doing this job, probably. Oh well. The husband's out riding the mountain bike, so that's pretty nice. He put everything together on the camper today, so that was very nice for him to attach it for me. Right down. Come on. Maybe I do. I'm gonna have to pull off that other side. Distance wise, if you have to measure it, but I did not feel like. So once you get a row of triangles aligned, your two snap tabs will be closest to where you're going. Once you get one aligned, so the arrows don't seem super important. Once that's all aligned, and you follow the pattern. Because you have these two right available adjacent to each other. Once you got those arrows set up. So I kind of stopped looking at the arrows. I went. <laughs> Check the attachments. All right. What would this be like? Don't think an extra one will fit. Still tight over there. And this. What would it be like? I do not think a 
spring is gonna fit on that. Is it? Let's see here. I turn them 90, supposedly. I haven't done this part yet. I betcha that'll be too tight. Or cut off some of that and we get more spring. Mmm. Okay, that could be complicated. And maybe something we do is we add a row later. I could cut half of the thing off each side maybe. And have a spring. All the way to the wall. Now what would that look like? That'll take effort. Um, let's just say that. Be hooked there, and then half of that would fit. Holy moly! How can I get those? I'm gonna have to actually measure and see if I can get an extra row. If I'm getting the math right, I think in the essence of time, I have to decide if I'm gonna ski or if I want to add the extra row and not camp and ski tonight because I'm gonna have to chop these so it'd be this side off. Wait, that side. So it fits half and half and you put the spring on one row. Okay, still a decision on the extra row, cutting half a leg down, I think. So half of that jobby right there to make the spring fit. You can see how that's about all it would take. I'm not sure. So, this is the position. What does that mean? Degrees I'm on. Oh, I spent a lot of time in this position. Oh. Hours so far. Pretty slick though. Whoever invented this did a pretty good job, I think. We'll see how it goes when we sleep on it, right? <laughs> then we'll know. All right. So cool. Oh, shoulders. The lighter colors go in the shoulder area. We have to figure out where we're gonna be lying in that. That's probably one right there. What do you think? I don't think you're going to know until you get on there. Yeah, we could probably put some estimated ones in there. But and you may not even want them. I will. I know I will. So put them over here. That's my side, right? Yeah. So we skipped the extra row this time and we'll add one if we need it. Cut it down later. Measure twice, cut, cut once. It's pretty cool. You can change out these guys with the lighter pieces pretty easily. Just pop them right off for shoulders, for whatever dips in. 